Hey y'all, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we got on the menu today? We got some curried neck bones with some carrots and potatoes. And so, y'all, let's get into it. Today we do have a subject though. Today we have a subject about YouTube drama. Why try to create drama when no drama exists? People always trying to start stuff. People always trying to claim stuff and have tantrum. That just lets you know mental health is real. You want to claim somebody didn't pay you homage to something you started. And then when it's been researched <clears throat> to let you know that you wasn't the first person who did it. You can't even acknowledge that, oh, I wasn't the first person to do it. My bad. But you, you still want to take credit. Man, that's not cool. Go have several seats. I remember my own business stand my lane. But it's just too much. Because you calling out other folks. You calling out other folks as if they did something wrong. They ain't done nothing wrong. I guess we need to do a thumbnail. If y'all hear any sizzling noise, that's my... I'm drinking on this cred mango diet. That sugar bath for you to kill you. But yeah. Just hooting and hollering and crying. Don't make no sense. Don't make no sense at all. You know? But it goes to show you something wrong because it's not the first person that you've attacked. They're not the first person that you attack. And then you want to come back and apologize. Why keep doing the same behavior? And then you end up. Why keep doing the same behavior? And when you ain't going to do them, backtrack and apologize. To be honest with you, people don't be honest and say the damage is already done. You did what you did. It don't matter if you apologize or not. You know? You know, somebody even mentioned that uh, maybe you should do it in private. You don't want to do it in private. You want to do it on your platform. Okay. You can do it on your platform. But you're hurting yourself. You are hurting yourself because a lot of people don't want to uh, be bothered with folks like that. Don't hurt your channel. That's falling off the bone, y'all. Don't hurt your channel. Over that, you do do that stuff in private. Talk to that person in private. And that person ain't got a clue that you're upset. Ain't got a clue. I'm sure somebody run over there and tell her. You know? You know, it's none of my business. No, not really. But I want to speak on it. I did. I want to speak on it because even after you were told that somebody else did the challenge, somebody else did it, real. Before you, you still didn't recognize that you didn't create it. Or you should still didn't acknowledge that you didn't create it. You know? But you're going on this rent. And when that person do find out, you probably hurt their feelings. You know? Because they thinking they did something wrong. Y'all, before we go back to that conversation, let me tell you about what I did. I took salt, pepper, garlic, um, 
salt, pepper, garlic pep, uh, powder. I took some uh, ginger paste and tomatoes and onions and some curry powder. Mix it all up together and uh, on a low uh, flame and then I took it out, put it in my processor so that I can make it a gravy. And then with my neck bones, I took it and put it in a pot with some chicken bouillon and um, boiled it until it was tender through the carrots and the potato in there. Then once uh, these were tender, then I put the, drained the water and then put the sauce in it. Mm, so good. It's primarily red because of the uh, tomatoes. But yeah. I'm pretty sure if you hang around these YouTube streams, you know what I'm talking about. And they can come over and get mad if they want to. I'm going to say whatever they want to say. Don't bother me. But my thing is, you can't expect for somebody to resolve an issue with you if you don't come to them directly. You know? You went on this tangent, and it's only going to be this person going to know that you're upset until somebody comes over there and uh, lets them know. That's the only way they're going to know. And all this big YouTuber, little YouTuber thing. Big, big, uh, the YouTubers with the larger platforms aren't crapping on us, uh, smaller channels. You know? And if you're a small channel, you think somebody crapped on you, reach out to them. In private, let them know. Nine times out of ten, they gonna correct the situation. Cause they already got their fan base. They might go and correct it. And we might help you out. By putting your name in a title, you might get some followers. More followers and more views and all that kind of stuff. That's the way to do it. And then you don't have to turn around and backtrack and apologize. You're going to put it in God's hands, yada, yada, yada. You don't do all that. I would suggest... You can still make make up. I would suggest you take that video down. And I instant message that person through our own um, what is it? Instagram. You still can fix it. If you take it down now. That's all I'm saying. But you can't uh, have a sense of entitlement unless you're in a copyright or something. Because you don't own nothing on this YouTube street. You barely even own your own platform. You know? You know, it is it is to each his own, but that's just my opinion. I just think in this mukbang community, we're supposed to be eating, y'all. Enjoying one another. Not fighting. Arguing, fussing. And I'm not supposed to be doing that. That kind of defeats the purpose. YouTube's supposed to be an outlet. But that's just my opinion. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Somebody humping home. Okay. Yeah. I mean, with that being said, 
It's too much. You know? It's too much. But then, you know, your platform, you do what you want to do. I'm saying this. Just stop causing drama in the mukbang community. There's no need for it. But you could just be doing it for clicks and views. I could be wrong. That could be it. Well. That definitely could be it. You're just doing it for clicks and views. It could be all, uh, all a, uh, um, it's gonna be messy, y'all. Uh, all a game. It could be all act. That's one of the reasons why. I don't fool with you like I used to. I enjoy your positivity. But honey, after you go after people's kids, that's a no-go. And I'm talking about Talking about the kids, talking about somebody's kid is one thing. It's another thing to try to get somebody's kids taken from. It's another thing to encourage your supporters to uh, go over there and try to dig up information on them. Cause we got some psycho. We don't know. Who our supporters are really are. This is the internet, social media. You can be, you can be, you can be whoever or whatever you want to be. Somebody decided to cut the grass. But yeah, you can be whoever you want to be. Sorry, y'all, but it's gonna be a lot of sucking. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit much. It's a bit much, y'all. This is food. We're supposed to be enjoying food. Am I saying she wrong for handling it the way she handled it? No. I'm just saying it could have been a better way. Could have been a better way.
That's what I'm saying. Am I perfect? Heck no. Nowhere near it. I don't even strive to be perfect. And I don't go around talking about I'm a godly woman either. What I can't tell you is this. Me and God have a relationship. So, I can't take you to heaven with me. You figure yours out. That's all I can do. I'm not to pull out no Bible. And tell you no scriptures and all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to get it together. And if you're interested, find your relationship with, with your God. You know, at most I'll say I'm a child of God. Saying a child of God because the only thing I can do is just strive to be better every day. But that stuff I flipped on too it's so not cool. I, and I normally don't say nothing, but you just got through apologizing to a series, a group of people. But you got the right group of people. Because they actually responded to her, responded to they forgive, they forgive you. So it wouldn't be a matter of me forgiving you. Our interactions would have just been that. No and void. What's up? Especially some of the stuff you did. It was all kinds of wrong. All, all kinds of levels. Like I said. It's one thing to talk about somebody. Kids. But it's a whole other thing to accuse people. To accuse people. Of illegal drug activity and also try to solicit your followers to um, get their children caught up in the system. So, they may have forgiven you. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. My kids are wrong. Because honestly, by you making the comments and stuff that you made, you don't know who what ignorant folks could have came out and be repeating what you're saying and make the allegations and you can send that family through a whole bunch of mess. Because you touched. Then send that baby. That baby get traumatized having to go through it too. So people got to think about what you say and do. Because just that one act, that one statement, a domino effect. Domino effect. So, you know, you can take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. It's up to you. My opinion probably don't matter. But I said what I said. My opinion. I can have one. Mm. I was talking Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
but we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna pick out one of those, but yeah, you know. You know, it's, it's a shame. You know, I, I expect that type of behavior. I wouldn't be surprised by that type of behavior from, you know, kids. I fell down. But yeah, it's sad. No. All right, y'all. Until next time, don't forget to be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing to somebody else. And smile at somebody today. You may just change their world. And remember, you guys, we are stars over here. We shine bright like a diamond. Until next time. Bye.